thank you for tuning in to my podcast as your host, David Randolph. I want to use for a topic this morning, how bad do you want to see Jesus? How bad do you want to see Jesus? The scripture will be coming from St. Luke, the 19th chapter, verses 1 through 9. And the word of the Lord says, Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was. But because he was short, he could not see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him since Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. He will stay. He must. I must stay at your house today. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. All of the people saw this and began to mutter. He was going to be the guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, look Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay uh, back four times the amount. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house because this man too is a son of Abraham. Come on somebody. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. As I've stated, the topic is, How bad do you want to see Jesus? Uh, We're living in a time that people will make excuses on why not giving their life to the Lord. They will blame everybody else because of their maybe downfalls and say, well, if I was saved, I would not do this or do that. When I get saved, I'm not going to To play with the Lord. So I'm going to wait. Until. I am ready. To give my life. To the Lord. But I beg the difference. Because you are playing. Russian roulette. Because you don't know. When death is going to come. Because the Bible said no man know the day nor the hour that the Son of Man is going to appear or come. So why take that chance on limiting yourself by watching somebody else? Yes, I know that that watching other people, yes, it can somewhat impact your life. But don't wait to play with salvation. Don't wait uh, because you are, you are saying you don't want to play with the Lord. You know, and I understand that and I believe it and I have confidence in it. But, but you are taking a chance. Because don't nobody know. When they're going to leave this world. People 
will make excuses on why they don't go into the house of the Lord. And I didn't understand that we went through this pandemic and we are still going through it. But, but, but God has opened the door of opportunity for us to dwell in the house of the Lord. But there's still people that will use the pandemic as an excuse. I understand that if you have, uh, 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 understand, God understands that if you have uh, sickness or something in your body that is causing you not to dwell in the house of the Lord. But, but there are some people that are using this pandemic as an excuse or an escape goal on not going back to the house of the Lord. Oh my God. How bad do you want to see Jesus? How determined are you? To get to Jesus. Here this man Zacchaeus. Was determined to see Jesus for himself. He is described as the word says. A tax collector. The chief tax collector. And also he gained wealth. But he wanted to see Jesus for himself. Uh, the Bible says that he was too short to get over the crowd or to see over the crowd. So he climbed up a sycamore tree because he was determined to not let anything stop him from getting to see Jesus. And that's where we got to be in our walk with the Lord that we don't use no excuse on getting a closer walk with the Lord. We have Bible apps. We have um, the word of paper Bibles. And we have apps uh, to get us uh, to, 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 to grow our relationship with the Lord. But we got to be determined to get there. And God is not going to make us or, but it's up to us because the Bible said, choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. Uh, he said, and also Jesus said, the day you hear my voice, harden not your heart. How bad do you want to see Jesus? Don't let anybody Get in your pathway. Don't let a job. Don't let money. Hinder you. From getting to see Jesus. I know we all go through things in life. And, we, and I'm not saying that. We, we can make it every Sunday. Because different things happen. But you got to be determined in your mind. That I'm not going to stay out of the house of the Lord. David said I would dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Bible said I was glad when they said unto me. David said I was glad when they said unto me. Let us go into the house of the Lord. I am determined to see Jesus. For me and my house, <laughs> we're going to serve the Lord. we on the Lord's side. Woo! <laughs> he is the captain of this ship. <laughs> he is the foundation of this house. How bad do you want to see Jesus? And Jesus said to Zacchaeus, Come down immediately. I must stay at your house. <laughs> because I see that salvation is needed. The Bible says that he that winneth souls is wise. 
And today, Jesus said to Zacchaeus, when he was invited to come into his house, he said, today salvation has come to this house because this man, too is a son of Abraham for the son of man has come to seek and save the lost how bad do you want to see Jesus don't let no man woman boy or girl Hinder you from getting to Jesus. Hallelujah. Because at the end of the day. We got to stand before God ourselves. I was telling a good friend of mine. I said. At the end of the day. <laughs> we got to stand before. God ourselves And give account of every deed. That we have done. In this mortal clay. How bad. Do you want to see Jesus. We, are, we, we, we strive. Badly to get better in life. We, we will work hours and hours. And labor and labor. To gain something that's possessable. We will work long hours. We will, we will tell the boss. I work overtime. But when it's time to dwell in the house of the Lord. The enemy, if we are not careful, we allow the enemy to put in our mind, well, I don't need to go. I'm too tired to go today. But we have worked all week long. Work more hours than the man has required of us to work. We are determined to get ahead. We are determined to pay this bill off. We are determined to pay this car off. We are determined to pay this house off. And we'll work hours and hours and days and days. But when it's time to go into the house of the Lord, we, we come up with the most excuses on why we don't want to go to the house of the Lord. Well, I'm going to use this day the rest because I got to go back to work on Monday. But, 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 but God is the one that wakes us up every day. Fail not to assemble yourself together. I love being around the saints. Praising the Lord together. Hallelujah. Lifting him up on high. Because he have kept me all week long. He kept me for 41 years. He kept me. I owe him a praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm determined to see Jesus. <laughs> he had brought me through too much. For me not to want to see Jesus. Zacchaeus could have light, could have used his shortness. And said, well, I ain't going to see him. But he was determined to see Jesus. How bad do you want to see Jesus? Are you going to allow any person, place, or thing to hinder you from going to see Jesus? And like I said, I know, you know, there's some, many that can't go and ain't able to go. That's understandable. But when we start coming up with excuses and never come up with an excuse during the week on doing what we want to do or doing what we have a desire to do, then that's a problem. That's a problem. We got to do better. In getting our priority straight. We got to do better. In getting our priority straight. Just I, like a, I was t 
talking before of the scripture and the revelation when when he had a problem with the church of Ephesus. He had a problem with him. Say so you have abandoned your first love. What has got into what has got in the way? What has distract you from praying? What has distract you from fasting? What have distract you from getting into the word? What have distract you from, from dwelling in the house of the Lord? What has got in the way? To where we start making excuses every Sunday. On not going to the house of the Lord. Or not going to hear God's word through Bible study. What has got in our way? He said if my people that are called by my name. Will just humble themselves and pray. And seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. He said, then I will hear from heaven. I'll forgive their sins and heal the land. How bad do you want to see Jesus? I want to close this out in prayer. That Lord, that we don't make excuses. On not going to the house of the Lord. Because you carry us. You, you keep us. You go before us through the week. You allow us to work hours and days. You allow us to work some work a week straight. Some work two weeks straight. Some work three weeks, four weeks, a month straight. But want to rest on Sunday. And then go right back at it again on Monday. Help us Lord. I know sometimes we may have to do what we have to do. But, but help us Lord not to, not to make excuses Lord. Not to make excuses. But help us Lord to. Get our priority straight. It was straight in the beginning. But Lord we, we allow things. Distractions. To get in our way. And say well I'm not going to church anymore. I'm too tired to go. God understand. I, 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 I don't work all, all month long. I don't work all two weeks. I don't work the month. But God said, if it weren't for me, you wouldn't be able to work. We determined to pay the car off. We determined to pay the house off. We determined to be debt free. But help us not to forget about you, Lord. You tell us not to, don't fail, fail not to assemble yourself together. We're living in a new day now. And excuses, excuses, excuses. But we thank God for your grace and your mercy. We thank God for your grace and your mercy, Lord. Because if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, where would we be? Father, help us, Lord. To be just as determined as Zacchaeus was. Help us not to make excuses like Zacchaeus. He didn't allow his shortness to hinder him from seeing Jesus. And he, he set aside his position. He set aside his wealth to get to Jesus. He could have said, no, I don't need to see him. I got enough money. I don't need to see. Do you know the office that I hold? But he was determined to see Jesus. 
The question is, are you determined to see Jesus? We can't let the husband, we can't let the wife block our view for getting to Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord. We can't let our friends, we can't let our family hinder us for seeing Jesus. Hallelujah. Because if you're not careful, those Sundays or whatever service you have, they'll keep they'll keep adding up on you laying out on we land or, or or us us laying out of church to the point where it'll come a norm and you don't even realize that it has become a norm that you're not going, that you're not listening to the word of God, that you're not praying, that you're not fasting, that you're not abiding in the word, it becomes a norm. You don't even, it, it, it can get to the point where you don't even think about it no more. Sunday will become a regular day to the point where it used to be you, you, you was up. It used to be that no matter how late you came in on Sunday morning from work or whatever, you were still dwelling in the house of the Lord. But it has become a normal. Help us, Lord, not to get to that place where it comes normal that we don't even think about it. That we don't want to dwell in the house of the Lord. We don't even give it a thought. Because we have laid out so much. That it becomes a normal day. It becomes a normal Saturday. It becomes a normal Sunday. will become like a Saturday. A normal day. Help us Lord. To not lose that zeal. For God. The Bible talks about that. You have lost your zeal for God. Help us Lord. How bad. How bad do you want to see Jesus? Are you determined. To see Jesus. Are you determined. To see Jesus. Help us not to. Allow our finances to hinder us from seeing Jesus. No matter how, what the increase we may make. Help us not to forget about you. Because you are the source. And the jobs that we have are the resources. Jobs can close down anytime. Help us to depend on you, God. We thank you for our resources. But help us not to allow the resources to take control, to rule over our life in the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord. We need you, Lord. We got to have you. We got to have you, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, help us, Lord. This is my prayer. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, to not put you on the back burner. Help us, Lord. Oh, God. Help us, Lord, not to wait to acknowledge you when it's all over and when, when the things that we try to do fail and then we seek you, Lord. Help us, Lord. But help us, God, to seek you early while the dew is still on the roses. Help us, Lord. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us. Help us. Help us, Lord. Do not put you last. And Lord, if we have put you last before, please forgive us. Forgive us this day, Lord. Forgive us for making up excuses on why not to go see Jesus. 
Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us for making excuses, for lacking. They say, well, I'll go next Sunday. Or I'll go next Wednesday night. Or I'll go next Wednesday day. Or I'll just do I'll just go next time. And not realizing that those next times is adding up to where you don't even miss it no more. Help us, Lord. Don't make excuses. Help us not to make excuses, Lord. We've been doing it too long. It's time for a change. Help us. And not make excuses. You've been too good to us. You've been too good to us, Lord. You hold back the the things that we cannot see. The enemy want to take us out of this world and you, you hold them back. And we don't even, we can't even see it with our own eyes, but you hold them back. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. To not let us not reading the word become a normal. We get too relaxed. We get too complacent. When you start blessing us, help us not forget where it come from. When we get promotions, help us not to forget that it comes from you. The Bible said promotion don't come from the east nor the west, but it comes from up above. Help us not to forget where you brought us from. No matter how big our houses we get, no matter how big the land we get, no matter how many vehicles we get, help us not to forget where it come from. No matter what, who we married, help us not to forget that it won't nobody but God that brought us together. Help us, Lord, not to forget. Help us not to forget. Help us to realize it's you, Lord, that we move and have our being. It's you. That breathe in our nostrils every day, every morning. It's you, Lord. Help us, God, to not get too relaxed. But be on fire for you every day. Be on fire for you every single day. Help us, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Because the Bible says... How soon, you know, the the be like the the, the 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 one that had the talent and he went back to tell the Lord thank you. Help us not to forget to tell you thank you. Help us not to forget to pray over our food. Help us, Lord, not to forget, Lord. But realize it's you the provider. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Help us, Lord. Oh, God, help us. Help us, Lord, to not take this race for granted. Help us, Lord. Help us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for listening again to my podcast. Please share it. Please like it that we all can grow in the, in our walk with the Lord. How bad do you want to see Jesus? No more excuses. We got to be determined to say no more excuses from this day forward. No more excuses, Lord. Help us, Lord. When an excuse try to cross our mind, help us to block it out. No more excuses from this day forward. Help us, Lord. We need you. 
because there's so many that so many things that's going on around us and we can get involved in everything and never schedule our times more to to spend time with God but we will we will we will draw out a schedule for a whole year and not even include God come on somebody we'll draw out a whole schedule for a whole year and none of it involves God None of it involves God. Help us, Lord. Help us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you for listening. Like I said, like and share. And the question is, how bad do you want to see Jesus? Have a blessed and wonderful day.